You might have the most innovative camera technology and the best battery life, yet if your phone doesn't run the Google Play Store, doesn't have apps like YouTube, Google Maps and Gmail, and is not getting Android updates, does it even stand a chance? Hello guys, my name is Vic with Phone Arena and right now that is the situation that Huawei has to face. The brand new Huawei Mate 30 Pro is its latest and greatest phone, but it's also the first one to come without Google services. The US is accusing Huawei of close ties to the Chinese government and has put it on a blacklist of companies that can't do business with US firms. And Google is just one such firm. But this phone is seriously very exciting, so you're missing out on some great stuff. These are the top features that I love about it, but also a few ones that disappoint me. First, it has an absolutely unique curved display that extends over the edges of the phone. Imagine the familiar curves of Samsung phones, but to a much larger extent. Some call this a waterfall screen for the effect it creates, plus with this you get the feeling as if the phone has no bezels on the side at all. I was worried that accidentally touching the side of the screen with my palm would be a bad experience, but Huawei has implemented some sort of a palm rejection, so this wasn't an issue. But apart from just looking cool, I didn't find much actual use of this curved screen. Second, it has a gigantic 4500mAh battery on the inside and this is a big deal. The battery size alone is impressive, it's larger than any other mainstream phone and in my experience with the Mate 30 Pro, it would last 2 days with average use. You have to charge most phones every day, while this phone is next level. Of course, if you're actually using 5G, you will get a bit less than that. Now you also have a 40 watt fast charger included in the box, and it allows you to get more than 50% charge in less than half an hour. This is also the first phone to support 27 watt wireless charging, so fast that we didn't even have a wireless charger fast enough to test it. Thirdly, the Mate 30 Pro looks like a camera, and I really dig that look. You have three cameras on board, a main, a telephoto and an ultra wide camera. I love the video stabilization here, it's absolutely amazing. The phone just magically makes your footage look extremely steady and cinematic, it's much better than on any other phone. Also if you take a lot of pictures of people, the portrait mode works great. You can shoot portraits at 1x, 2x and 3x telephoto zoom and 3x zoom for portrait mode makes for the best portrait pictures and few other phones have it. And its larger camera sensor brings some big improvements for low light photos. Next if you like recording videos with the front camera you will be extremely impressed with the new AI HDR feature that gives you footage that looks better than on most rivals. Plus you also have that super slow-mo option that slows down reality to a near complete stop. It's a gimmick that you may never use, but it's a fun one if you try it. Now also you have one of the best face recognition systems on board here. The Mate will scan your face much like the iPhones and this 3D scan gives you a secure and easy way to unlock the phone. But if you don't want that, you also have an optical fingerprint scanner that also works great and unlocks the phone quickly too. No other phone on the market offers both a secure 3D face scan and a fast and reliable in-screen fingerprint scanner. Good job Huawei! Also this phone is packed with antennas. It features a 5G modem on the system chip which is more efficient, while most other rivals don't even offer a 5G option at all yet. Finally Huawei's new EMUI interface has improved a lot. It looks cleaner and more modern, more stylish plus gestures on it now work smoother. There are also a few things I didn't like about this phone and first and foremost of course it is that lack of Google services which is a big deal. You don't realize how much you depend on the Google Play Store, YouTube, Google Maps and all the rest until you are handed a phone like this one. It almost feels like it's not a smartphone without those apps. And yes, there are ways you can sideload the Google GMS license and all Google apps but we're not even sure that's legal, so we won't get into that. And this brings us to the price, which is just absurd for a phone without Google services. The Mate 30 Pro costs around $1100, which is more than the latest iPhones and Galaxies. This is a lot of money for a handicapped phone. There are also a few other things. Because of that waterfall screen that goes over the edge of the phone, we don't have volume buttons. Instead you have to double press on the side of the phone to get them to pop up. 
problem is this doesn't really work every time and it's frustrating not being able to control the volume, especially if you accidentally play something loud in a public space and are rushing to turn down the volume. Also the camera quality here is, well, inconsistent. Sometimes you get great photos and other times colors and pictures appear just weird. Huawei has been praised for including some innovative camera features like that periscope 5 times zoom camera in the P30 Pro and this time with the Mate 30 Pro it has two much bigger camera sensors on the two main lenses but while technically it is a more advanced camera than the competition the actual images just don't always look as nice as on some other phones. Last but not least this phone is quite big it has sharp edges, so it's definitely not the most comfortable thing to carry in your pocket. Should I also mention there is no headphone jack on board? I personally still wish it was here. And this wraps our take on the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. A phone jam-packed with advanced features, a phone with great battery life, but unfortunately not one we can recommend without the Google Apps. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe for more. For the latest in tech, my name is Vic Kristoff and I hope to see you next time, right here on Phone Arena.